The split editor in group command lets you split an editor within an existing editor tab. This can be useful if you want to reference multiple locations in a file without going and creating a new editor group. Now the normal split editor command, which is bound to control backslash or command backslash by default, will go and open a new editor group and a new editor within that group. So you can see that after running that command, I have two editors open. You can see the two tabs up here, and I can scroll through these independently. I'm going to close that one. And the split editor in, gr in group command is a little different because it will just keep a single editor tab, but go and open a split editor within it. To run that command, I'm going to open the command palette with control shift P or command shift P and say split editor. And I want the split editor in group command. You can also see there's a key binding available for it. And when I run this, you can see it, it looks the same sort of initially, but there's no second editor tab that's been opened. So we have two copies of the same document here, the one over on the left and the right, but there's not a second editor tab that has been opened. Now I can again scroll through these independently. And one use case of having the split editors here is that you can go and reference different parts of the file. So let's say I was working on completion item provider. I want to go and see what a completion item actually is. I can just go navigate to that by using command click or control click. And now I can go and reference completion item while going and uh, working on completion item provider over here. So I can have two views of the same file open within a single editor tab. The nice thing about this command is that it will preserve your workspace layout. So if you have a complex layout that you want to preserve, using the split editor and group command will just make the existing editor go and split instead of introducing a new group somewhere in your layout. Now, after you're done with the second editor, you can actually go and close it using the join editor and group command. So again, I'm going to open the command palette with control shift P or command shift P and say join editor. And I want the join editor in group command here. When I run this, you can see it's closed the secondary editor and we're back to having just the single editor in this editor tab. So that's the split editor in group command for VS Code.